Hi, and welcome to the business of being a virtual assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching and listening to episode number 217. Now, before we get started, I have to tell you a little side note. So I'm doing all the checks, making sure everything's ready, sound included. And I uh, look at myself in the reflection of this video and I'm thinking, wow, I wouldn't have felt so comfortable with all my arms out a couple of years ago. I probably did some episodes with my arms all out, but wasn't totally comfortable. And today I'm like, I'm cool. In fact, I calculated my weight loss goals before I got on here. And I'm over the halfway hump. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, y'all don't care about the weight loss goal. Let's get into the virtual assistant business. Thank you so much for watching and listening. This is the business of being a virtual assistant. Ah, okay. I'm getting ready to unplug y'all. I'm so excited. So excited. I am preparing to unplug. And I thought I would come and ask you, do you know how to unplug? You probably don't. Because I don't know how to unplug all the way. When you're doing something that you really love, it's hard to like pull back from it. It's easy to uh, pull back from projects. You do your deadline and all that good stuff. But your mind still goes. You're still getting ideas or things you have to do for your number one client. And, you know, when it's supposed to be your downtime, it's like, oh, this is a great time to get creative and think of all these ideas and do this. Ah, but we got to learn to unplug. So let me tell you what unplugging looks like for me. And I was writing my notes and realized I actually live somewhat an unplugged lifestyle. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I mean by that is when it comes to my phone, for example, how many of you, how do you have your like notifications dinging going on and off? I was with my mom for Mother's Day and she has her notifications on. So if I'm like, oh, I'm going to send you this. Let me send you this link right quick, this picture right quick. And we're sitting side by side. And then I hear a phone ding, 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 ding. And it's just dinging. I'm like, what is that? All the notification bells are on. For me, if you're hanging out with me, you will never hear my phone. You'll never hear it. I keep my phone on silent. I um, most of the time have my phone on do not disturb and I'll have it on do not disturb. I go back and forth between all contacts and favorites and favorites is my mom and my husband. And so you don't ever hear my phone. And sometimes I forget to take it off do not disturb and I'll have it like when I'm recording like now have it on do not disturb no one and then I'll forget I can go like a whole day and forget that I have my phone on do not disturb and that it says no one until I get a million text messages from my husband and he's like take your phone off do not disturb <laughs> and I might not see his text messages until I realize hmm let me check my phone I check my phone on my terms so I feel like that's an unplugged life with my phone for, and I'm, I made a list here. You guys know if you're a regular watcher of the show, you know, I look at my notes. If you're listening to it, then you don't get to see what I'm doing. I'm just looking at my paper here. Business phone. Now my business phone and I don't use my personal cell phone for business. Do not use your cell phone for business if you can help it don't give clients your personal cell phone number if you can help it I've been in a couple of situations where my clients did have my cell phone um, I felt like my client was like uh, busy enough in her life that she wouldn't just randomly call me for no reason or on a Sunday or after a certain time during the week however what I didn't anticipate was my phone number being given to random people. And when I say random, they're random to me. Meaning somebody she knows, and she's like, oh, ask Tiffany and just gives my number. I don't like that. 
because again, I keep my phone on silence and do not disturb and all these things and contacts only. So when a random person calls, it's like, huh, who, what? Anyway, y'all, yeah, I just had a moment. Did you see my moment? I just had a moment about that. I don't like my phone number being given out to people without my permission. So anyway, don't give your, if you can help it, don't give your clients your cell number. Uh, they're all different. There's apps that you can use. There is Google Voice, all different other options other than your personal cell phone. Um, and make sure, you know, if you've got a client that likes to text, make sure whatever system you use, it allows you to either text or call. And then you, you know, basically treat it like a business phone. If you worked at Bank of America or some other corporate place, you answer the phone during the hours that you work, nine to five. After hours, you're not answering the phone. And that is my attitude about that. Be very strict in that. So anyway, don't have to really unplug from that because my business phone goes to voicemail. Uh, people, I rarely get calls. People that really want something, they're going to leave a message. I need to know what, what you want, what you're calling for. If I'm always available and I'm always answering the phone, I'm too available. When do I get work done? When are you getting work done if you're always answering your phone, even your personal phone? If you still have a house phone, even your house phone, if you're always answering, that means you're always letting people interrupt you. You need to unplug. At least for a weekend. Experiment with that for a weekend if you've never unplugged from the notification bells and your phone ringing and answering all the time. Just try it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's talk about social media. Unplugging from social media. What does that look like for me? This is my unplugged lifestyle. Uh, what that looks like, I took the time a few years back and un followed every friend that I have on Facebook and it took me a while I'm trying to think mm, I know it took more than a few days let's say it took a week to unfollow every friend and the reason why it took that long is because Facebook was only letting me unfollow so many at a time it probably thought I was a bot or something by how quickly I was unfollow 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 and it would you know, stop me like, okay, you've unfollowed enough people for the day. You can't unfollow any more people. So this is why it took up to a week to unfollow everybody. When I finally unfollowed all of my friends and my news feed was clear, like there was nothing in the news feed. I was, I felt like my house was clean. When that news feed was clean, it was like, ah, there is nobody in the feed. And, you know, Facebook was trying to get me to put some people there like, your feed is empty. You might want to follow this person, add this, do this or whatever. And so now my news feed is filled with uh, business pages that I follow and want to hear from. And it also has groups that I want to hear from in my news feed. And if a random friend pops up that I missed in my unfollow, or maybe I recently friended them, but I forgot to unfollow and their post pops up. It's so odd for all these, you know, different uh, business posts, inspiration, help, you know, I got a thing going in my news feed. And then randomly somebody posts about, their kid's birthday. I'm like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I forgot to unfollow them. Because it's very clean and structured. And the reason why I had to do that is because I work on social media. Social media is not for fun. Social media is no longer for your fun. As a business owner, we can't be without social media like it or not we cannot be without social media if it were not for my business I would not be on social media 
I enjoy it for, you know, scrolling, funny videos, things like that. But those things don't interrupt my day because I have to be on social media for work. You, if you have to be on social media for work, let's say you're managing groups for clients, you're doing community support for them, you have Facebook pages that you manage, anything that you have to do for a client, and it involves social media, you've got to figure out a way to clean up your feed so you're not easily interrupted. And it's, it's, oh my goodness, there's all kind of things to get, get you off track now with stories and reels and all that. Let that side become your, you know, entertainment after hours, almost like how back in the day when we actually watched television and had our favorite shows, we would watch them at certain times. Let your social media fun be that watching at certain times you will find that a lot of your time is wasted by interruptions, distractions. You don't have to unfollow all your friends, but if you know that's probably an easier way for you to unplug on social, go ahead and do it. You, Oh my goodness, it's a life changer. Social media life changer. All right, so that's what it looks like on a regular basis. And that's what, when I say I have an unplugged lifestyle, that's basically what I'm talking about, phone, social media. Uh, You can't do that so much on Instagram, except for turning off notifications. It's not like you can unfollow and still follow at the same time. But Instagram works a little different than I think how we look at Facebook. So the key with that is just turning off those notifications so you're not bells and whistles and all these things are not going off at you all day now different kind of unplug mental unplug this is the hard one this is the one that I'm preparing for uh, for the next few days I know it's not going to last the whole week but at least for the weekend I want to be free and clear of things that require me to think creative ideas um, schedules, emails, all those things that require a brain power that I can't just do. And even the things that I can just do, I just want to turn it off and relax and not have to think about any of that. That is my goal for the next few days. And I'm so excited about it. I need a break y'all. Can you tell? I need a break. I'm telling you guys. Now, when I do my unplugging and my break, I don't announce it to the world. I don't announce it to my clients. If it does not affect their project directly, they will never know. Let me say that again. If it does not affect their project directly, they will never know. I told my team as we're coming up on a holiday this month, I was like, you know, let me know if you will not be available If you are able to meet your deadlines and everything like that, and you're going to be away, I don't have to know. It's all good. Enjoy. Have a great time. But if it, it, it will affect you meeting your deadlines, then, you know, let me know, let your team members know. That's the only time. That's the only time your clients need to know that you're going to be away. They don't need to know all your business. You're a business owner. Does your CPA let you know when they're out of town? They might let you know when the office is closed, right? Is the office closed? Your office is not closed. Unplugging for a couple of days, the office is not closed. They'll live. Unless now, if you are saving lives, you need to let the people know you won't be available. That's totally different. If you're saving lives. If you've got deadlines, that's totally different. Be responsible. Make sure you're meeting your deadlines. You know what I mean. But I'm talking about things that are not deadline specific. You finished all, maybe you've met all the deadlines and you have carved it out so that nothing's going to go, you know, you, you, nobody's looking for you in these next few days, whenever you plan it. Cause summer's coming up. So plan your vacation or your unplugged days. Cause it might not even be, be vacation, your unplugged days around deadlines 
so that you don't have to explain all that you're doing. This is one of the reasons why I got out of corporate. I never liked having to ask permission to take days off. I never liked having to coordinate my days off with my team members, especially around the holidays. Everybody wants off for Memorial Day. Not Memorial Day. I've been out of corporate so long, I think about, oh, let's do a holiday, Christmas. Everybody wants off, week of Christmas. Everybody can't take a week week of Christmas. Somebody has to be here. The phone's still going to ring. The email's still going to come. Somebody still has to be here, right? But I never liked that. I, I got it logically, but I didn't like it. I didn't like having to ask for permission. So now as a business owner, I'm not asking for permission. I'm not letting you know unless it affects your deadline. And it doesn't. Because I planned it out that way. So anyway, map out your plan for your unplugging and your time. It's very important. Last tip, and I'm going to get out of here. This is a side nugget. That is, do your best not to schedule discovery calls around your unplugging time. So like, if you're going to be heading out on a Friday, do not do a discovery call like that Thursday before. The reason why You're going to be thinking about that client the whole time you're away. You're going to be thinking about the details, your pricing. You're going to want to send them an email as your follow-up. But you're about to head on out on Friday. You're about to unplug. So it's best to block out a few days before so that no one's expecting you to contact them within a certain time period. Right. Just block it off your calendar. You don't have to say, well, I'm going to be out of town on that day. No, it's just blocked off the calendar. When they get your calendar link, they just see that it's not available. You are a business owner. You teach your clients how to treat you. You don't tell them, hey, I'm a business owner. I don't have to tell you this. No, you remind yourself, especially if you're getting out of the employee mindset. Or you're playing a dual role. You're an employee and a business owner. This is why I always use extreme examples, doctors, accountants, somebody who we wouldn't, who, you know, we wouldn't dare expect certain things of them. Giving us resumes, telling us their vacation days. No, you wouldn't do that. You just know when the office is open, when it's not open, when they're available, when they're not available. That's it. You don't know the reason why. That's how you should treat your business. Nobody has to know the reason why. Oh, she's unplugging. No one has to know. Do not be afraid that, you know, all these things are going to happen while you're unplugged. They're not. Everything will be fine. Your clients will be fine. It's all good. I want you to enjoy your time away. When is your time to go away? I'm certainly going to enjoy mine. Ah, I cannot wait. So anyway, thank you so much for listening to this episode. Sometimes I forget to say, if you want to comment on the episode, you can do it two places. Well, actually three. I always forget the third. YouTube, Facebook, and on my website, tiffanyparson.com. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash T-B-B-V-A. That stands for the business of being a virtual assistant. Uh, And did I say YouTube? I might have said that first. Anyway, uh, the last thing is this. If you're not on our email list, I don't know why. I'm going to say it's because it's your first time listening, which is cool. This is your first time. Thank you so much. If you want to be a part of our email list, be sure to text 33 seven 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 and you want to text the words v a start all goes together v stands for virtual a assistant virtual assistant starts v a start two three three seven 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 thank you again for watching and listening you have a wonderful and fantastic day 